Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install OpenSUSE Linux on your VirtualBox. For those that don't know VirtualBox, VirtualBox is a tool that allows you to run multiple operating systems on your host computer. So the first thing we have to do is download and install VirtualBox. So head to your Chrome browser and then search for VirtualBox. So you can see the first page over here, Oracle VM VirtualBox. Now click on it. And then by the left, click on Downloads. Now you can see VirtualBox for Windows machine here, which is Windows host. So click on it and it should start downloading. This is for Mac OS, for Linux and many other operating systems. Now while this is downloading, we also have to download OpenSUSE Linux ISO image file. So open a new tab and then let's search for OpenSUSE. So you can see over here opensuse.org. Let me view this full screen. Now we are going with opensuse tumbleweed. So click on install tumbleweed. Now click on download by the right over here. You can see overview and download. So once you click on download, it would open this page. Now you can see this is for Intel or AMD processors. So we are going with the offline image x86 underscore 64 which means it is 64 bit. So click on download for the offline image and it should start downloading. The file size is about 4.4 gigabytes so you know what to expect. Now I already have this downloaded so I'm just gonna cancel it. So by now we should have VirtualBox downloaded so we can close our browser and then open our download folder. So you can see this is VirtualBox and this is OpenSUSE ISO file. Now let's install VirtualBox, so double click on it. So we've successfully installed VirtualBox, click on finish. Now we have to create a new virtual machine, so we'll click on new up here. Let's call this machine OpenSUSE Linux. Now set the type to Linux, make sure you set the type to Linux and the version to OpenSUSE 64 bit. So you can see over here. You don't really need to specify if this is lib or tumbleweed, just select OpenSUSE 64 bit and then click on next. Set the base memory which is the RAM. Now you shouldn't allocate more than 40% of your RAM to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer. So I'm just going to give this 5 gig since I have 16 gig on my PC. And then for the processor cores, I'm going to give it 3 since I can run up to 8. Again don't give over 40% to your virtual machine. Next. Now set the amount of storage you want to allocate to this machine. So anything over 30 gig should be okay, but I'm just going to give this 58 gig. Now click on next. So these are the details of our machine. Once we click on finish, it should create this new virtual machine. So click on finish. And here we go. These are the specs of our newly created virtual machine. Now there are a few things we need to change here for our machine to work properly. So go to settings up here. Go to display and then increase the video memory to 128 megabytes. Enable 3D acceleration. Now go to storage. We have to import the ISO file. Click on this empty disk over here and by the right click on this disk icon. Click on choose the disk file. And then select OpenSUSE Linux file from your download folder which we downloaded earlier. You can see 4.5 gig. Click on open. Now go to the USB section by the left. And then enable USB 3.0 click on OK. Now we can click on Start to boot into OpenSUSE Linux. So click on Start. Now you can either boot directly from hard disk or run the installation straight. So I wouldn't want to boot from hard disk so just use the arrow button to come down, go to installation and then hit enter. Now you can see if you get this error, just go with OK. So just use the arrow left OK. Now select your desktop environment. We can go with desktop with KDE or GNOME or XFace. Or you can just go with server option if you just want to use the text mode. But I'm going to go with GNOME since this is actually one of the most popular desktop environments. So just go with what you prefer and then click on next. 
Now this is going with guided setup. It is going to create GPT digs, partition the digs, and run everything by itself. So we don't really need to do anything. Just click on next. Now set your region and time zone. I'm just going to leave it this way and then click on next. Enter your user full name and your username which you're going to use to access the machine, the password as well. We also use the password for system administrator and then turn off automatic login since we want to log in with our password. But if you don't want to log in with any password, you can just tick this box and it will log in directly. So now click on next. Oops, the password is too simple. Well, you can change your password if you want, but I don't really care. So I'll just, yes. Now I'll scroll down. So once we click on install, it should initiate the installation. This may take some time depending on your PC hardware and the resources you are located. So click on install. So let's monitor the time. The time of installation is 11.38 am. Let's see how long this will take. If you get this error, just connect to the internet and then retry. This is just trying to download post installation files which is actually minor so you can just connect or you can skip it if you don't want. So you can see it has been successfully installed. This took about 10 minutes. Now it will reboot and we can boot from the hard disk so let's hit enter. Hit enter again to boot. And here we go. So click on your profile and then log in with your password. So basically, this is how to install OpenSUSE Linux on your virtual box. If this was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.